Stephen, will we ever have the ability to travel backwards in time? I'm thinking not simply because if we ever did obtain that ability, we would have met somebody by now from the future. One might hope that we could warp space-time so that one could go off in a rocket and come back in the past. But I have shown that this is not possible if energy density is always non-negative. Hmm. Okay. Maybe that's a big if. <laughs> all we have to do is create negative energy density stuff. Then we'll all be able to travel backwards in time. <laughs> I, I've, uh... What? Well, I've done this show a few times now, and I think this is the one where I really do feel the dumbest. Like, uh, <laughs> what is non-negative energy density? Yeah, actually, I'm not even completely sure myself. What is <laughs> non-negative energy density? So, yeah, I feel like we should. Oh, yeah, Micho, yeah, density. come on. The, the, on. It's got your name on it. On Star Trek, it's called dilithium crystals, which make warp dry, wormholes, and time travel possible. For a physicist, it is negative matter and negative energy, things that fall up rather than falling down. Now, a black hole has positive energy, energy to rip the fabric of space-time, but it's unstable. It collapses back on itself. You need negative energy or matter to keep it open. <laughs>